Hello, Psych2Goers. We just want to take the time to thank you for all your kind support. We are a team of dedicated, passionate, and hardworking individuals who come together every day with one goal in mind. We want to make psychology come alive for you. We are self-funded and recently launched our Patreon. If you enjoy the work we do and find it meaningful, please stick around till the end of this video for information on how to get more involved with us and all the cool rewards you can get from us. We hope you enjoy this video. Dating can be a delicate dance. One wrong move and your partner can swing away from you. This is why relationships aren't fairy tales and require a large degree of work to sustain them. When you're with the right person, they're always worth it though. But no matter how much we want to love our partners better, we may not always understand where to start. Highly sensitive people, for instance, face many challenges in the realm of dating because their partners don't always know how to approach them. Whether you've been dating your highly sensitive partner for a while now, or you're just getting started, here are five tips for dating a highly sensitive person. Number one, don't pressure or make them feel rushed. Highly sensitive people prefer to think things through carefully before making a decision. Instead of quickly jumping into a situation, they would rather analyze and observe on the sidelines before making a commitment. This is why they don't like to feel pressured or rushed. They care a lot about how their actions affect others, which is what makes them such great and loyal partners. Once they've chosen to commit to you, they take your relationship seriously. Number two, respect their need for space and time to be alone. If your partner needs to recharge, try not to take it personally. They aren't doing it to ignore you but because it helps them function as a person. Respect your partner's need for space. In fact, the only way for your partner to be at their best is when they aren't overwhelmed or overly stimulated. If you'd like to understand your partner's habits more, check out our video, Eight Signs You're a Highly Sensitive Person. Number three, understand that conflict makes them uncomfortable. Disagreements are normal in relationships because you and your partner are welcome to have different opinions. But when your partner is highly sensitive, it's important to be mindful of how conflict makes them feel. Highly sensitive people don't enjoy fighting because they find it distressing and overly stimulating. To reduce conflict, try not to fight. You don't have to act like robots or pretend everything is fine when you experience problems, but emotions often distract us from resolving them. One way to minimize fighting is to give each other signals or warnings before things get out of hand. Number four, when doing activities together, choose less stimulating environments. Highly sensitive people don't like being in loud, overcrowded places. They may go to parties to catch up with friends or be supportive of weddings and birthdays, but they prefer to leave early when they start to feel drained. To reduce your partner's stress, Bring them to peaceful environments like the beach when it isn't crowded, a hike in the woods, or a quiet coffee shop. Number five, reach out frequently and ask them how they're doing. According to Elaine Aaron, researcher of highly sensitive people, she discovered a trait they all have that she refers to as mate sensitivity. Mate sensitivity is the ability to understand what pleases your partner. Highly sensitive people are great at knowing what to say and do to make their partner feel loved and appreciated. But it's important to be receptive and return the same gestures of love. Be considerate and make sure your partner's needs are being met too. Are you dating a highly sensitive person? Do you find these tips helpful? Please share your thoughts with us below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more content from Psych2Go and check out our Patreon. With your contribution, you can receive our PSI pendant, t-shirt, issues of our magazine, and many more membership benefits. We want to make sure our community members get the best and only the best. Thanks for watching.